Good day YouTubers and yes England has finally come out of its four week long second lockdown and that means we can at last get moving along the canals as far as the Lancaster is concerned there's a couple of caveats firstly it's now Canal and River Trust's annual winter maintenance program and that means that the Lancaster Canal is closed about a mile past Lancaster itself all the way to its northern terminus at Tewitfield. Secondly, the county of Lancashire has moved into Tier 3 and the general rule of Tier 3 is that you can't move your boat into a lower tier which isn't so much of a problem on the Lancaster as it's all in Tier 3 bar about the last mile or so which is in Cumbria but as I say the canal shut through that section anyway so it just remains for me to fill the water tank and empty the loo Thought I'd lost my keys for a moment then. Well, good day YouTubers. And you join me about two miles north of Garstang along the Lancaster Canal. Pretty much at the same spot where I finished my parole day video back in May and where I sat on the towpath and read out a viewer's letter inspired by Rush song titles. <sighs> As you no doubt know, the four week long second lockdown in England has ended. And we can at last get moving again on the canals. It's not exactly straightforward because we have this tier system, but uh, I shall explain along the way. She has her hands full there. Well, the English tier system, hey? If you don't know, each of the counties of England were moved into what's known as a tier system. One being the least restrictive and three being the most severe. And it is pretty much a lockdown in all but name. Main difference being that uh, the canals can operate. Of course, the deciding factor for which tier you go into is all dependent on the infection rate in your county. 
and seeing as Lancashire has one of the lowest infection rates in the country we naturally went into the severest of tiers, tier 3. But a place such as London which currently has one of the highest infection rates in the country that's gone into tier 2 which is less restrictive. Their pubs can open and people can have some semblance of normal life. So uh, I hope that makes sense. Heading for Lancaster then, which is about eight and a half miles away. Along the way we come to a little area called Gullgate. And a handy little spa shop. So I think I'll stop there and get some milk. Also at Gullgate is the junction for the Glasson branch. Which at the moment is closed due to uh, lock repairs. And then the canal winds and twists along. And eventually we come to... Lancaster, a large, vibrant city. Canal's lovely and still. Some nice reflections. Reminds me of winter on the Bridgewater Canal. Except, of course, here the canal's not frozen and I'm not picking my way through a pea soup fog. get these subtle clues as to why you'll have something like that sudden left right bend and it's clear to see it will have been diverted so as not to go through that homeowner's property I imagine back in 1700 and something they'd have been quite insistent about that there's absolutely no way no way on earth you're putting that ghastly canal through one's property. Nowadays, of course, compulsory purchase order and just bulldoze through. For example, with the still yet to be built HS2 high speed rail link. I'm in quite a political mood today, which is a bit of a rarity for me because I don't bother with politics normally. I mean, that is one of the huge reasons why I got on a boat in the first place, to get away from the system. But of course, the system has come crashing back and firmly taken control of all of our lives to the point where there is absolutely nothing in people's lives whatsoever apart from COVID. Personally, I've gone from being as free 
as it's possible to be and it took a hell of a lot of work to get to that point you know, as far detached from the system as it's possible to be living a you know, simple peaceful life that has no impact on anybody else's lives whatsoever keep yourself to yourself and in return the system leaves you alone but no so apologies for the little political rants but I'm sure I speak for one or two people when you say we are bloody annoyed <laughs> Number 81, Potter's Brook Bridge, and about two miles to Gartner. About two miles to Goldgate. Two thousand and twenty was going to be quite an interesting year for me. I planned to start a brand new series called Travels by Motorbike, and I'd invested quite heavily, as far as I'm concerned, in getting ready to do that. I'd bought a motorbike. I'd invested in a drone and a training course for that. Various bits of camping equipment, photography equipment, and then COVID came along. But am I bitter? No. After all, who would I be bitter to? You're not allowed to express an opinion anymore, unless it toes the common narrative. Because if you do, your career, all your life, livelihood, income, reputation is cancelled. In the old and olden days, this was called having an opinion. Well, that was bridge 85, double bridge, and just around here on the left is the junction for the Glasson branch. As I say, closed until next year, and whenever it reopens, and assuming that we're not in lockdown again, we'll go for a trip down there to Glasson Basin and Glasson Dock. up the canal here then 
is Gallgate. And I'll moor up there and go and visit the local shop. And I believe the sun is actually trying to break through. Somewhere after this boat here, I say. And of course at Goldgate is Goldgate Marina. A lovely bit of traditional boaty life. Here I come. Though of course, being Britain, I won't be filming in it. But then, why would I want to? How boring. Goldgate is one of those blink and you missed it kind of places. Though it does have a pub, which is sadly closed due to tier three. But remember, we're not in lockdown. But of course, there's the spa shop, which thankfully is open because of course you need food. Otherwise, you like, uh, <coughs> die or something. Uh. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> well, let's get cracking, eh? Next stop, Lancaster. <laughs> <laughs> 